WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White. Uh, well, we've got a market that's uh, at least kind of a little bit of everything. Of course, uh, a lot of people running into the safety stocks in the Dow. Uh, it's up fairly strong at about uh, eight, uh, yeah, let's call it uh, eight tenths of a percent. NASDAQ's down about one and a quarter percent, where the uh, S&P is down about three tenths of a percent, and the Russell. Uh, actually up one and a fourth percent. So what's the mixed bag out here? Well, it certainly is a, a, a rush to safety in some of the Dow stocks. Of course, uh, if you ever investigated the Dow, I don't use it as a uh, big indication um, for its value, mostly because uh, of the shares of the Dow 30, 96% are institutionally owned. Uh, that means there's only about 4% that actually ever trade uh, extensively. So it's fairly easy to push most of those stocks around uh, significantly. About 26 out of the 30 uh, can be moved without much in the way of actual volume uh, and price change. So I don't look at a great deal of it, uh, but when you see this, uh, the entrance is, uh, like I said, kind of uh, narrow and uh, Exits are narrow, too, in the Dow 30 stocks. But uh, what we're really seeing here is a kind of a, a thought that maybe we want to see stocks that have been around for a while and have a lot of cash on the balance sheet. And, of course, that uh, overflows some of the other stuff going on in the market. Uh, and that is, if I can get it up here, of course, uh, the dollar move. It certainly looks like the Treasury is active. Uh, the bond market starting to come back and respond to that. Uh, TLT is at 97.24 after blowing through the all-time uh, projected lows of about 101 and going down much farther. Now kind of coming back just a little bit. Of course, most people are talking about uh, Meta. I call it Metamucil. And I say it has IBS uh, to, to down what, more than 20% today. Uh, the Mobley, uh, Mobileye IPO did come out, and we did kind of start to see some weakness, as is usual when big IPOs suck up cash in the market. We'll be back in just a few minutes for the show. The reality is that navigating financial markets